something? Hmm? No, I didn't say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. to you the blue orb of Sniffleheim. If you will just come a little closer. Again. You have to believe me. Everybody calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabel. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? Hmm. The orb, you say? Very well, very well. Now then. What is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Precisely! The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one in the book! No! She's a liar, you fools! You... Imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Oh, yes. Very queenly. <laughs> Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> oh, 
I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, take her to the dungeon. <clears throat> <clears throat> Wait! Your Majesty, what are you doing? Queen Frisabel, please step away from her! Listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. But we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Hers is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think to ready myself to truly rule at last. Please, I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She is not a threat to us any longer. We must let her live. Hmm. She seems convinced, Nori. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, your majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Must you be so nicey-nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, fusty library for a horribly long time. Uh, then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison. But you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. You must freeze at Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. The same pendant as Sir Henry, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. Thank you once again for all you have done for me and my kingdom. The orb is yours to do with as you see fit. kingdom's most precious treasures? Of course. As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, little girl. 
free Sabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her. by the docks, Eric. None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Huh? What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! Oh! Uh, Crivens! <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Ah. Oh. But, but, but wait! You, you don't understand! I only read them for the articles! The articles, I tell ye!
mystery! Darlings!
beautiful. The great Silvando grows even greater. Told you I was tough. I feel better than ever.
just keep getting better. Oh, goody. Guys!